Good morning everyone and happy Sunday to you or good afternoon wherever you are in the world. I'm calling in here from the beach in Nice. Hope you can hear me okay. It's a little bit windy but I'll do my best. Today's Bastille Day celebrating France becoming a republic in 1789 and there are massive preparations going on all around the city and for the parade later on today. So this morning I was brainstorming about different aspects of leadership and I thought I would make this little video to share some of them with you. I hope that's okay. In 1789, the people who had this vision of France becoming a republic were courageous leaders who were willing to risk their lives for what they believed in. And history has so many examples of this. The men who signed the American Declaration of Independence, for example, or Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi. And then what about leaders in business and social media and media? Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, and so many to choose from. So coincidentally, or maybe not, I was doing some reading last night about what used to be considered the world's most violent country, a dangerous country, El Salvador, and how the president, Nayib Bukele, has completely transformed the country in a few short years to become one of the safest places on the planet. This new, young, dynamic and unbelievably courageous young leader is a shining example of everything as possible with amazing leadership. He's not only made decisions which could potentially put his own life at risk, uh, but there's also been a huge ton of criticism from around the world. Nonetheless, his commitment is to give economic prosperity and security to his people, and it's paying off. He has a 90% approval rate in the country. Thankfully, for most of us, those kind of levels of commitment aren't necessary for us to live the life that we desire. Nonetheless, that led me to a deep reflection on my own leadership and what are some of the common denominators of great leadership and who are the inspirational leaders that I can draw insight and exemplarity from. So I felt this was important because our income is a reflection on the number of people that we serve and we must develop our leadership as a result. So then I have to ask myself, how can I be even better, as I said? Um, so I decided to look at three key factors, values, qualities, and skills. So one interpretation of a core value of a leader is to have a positive impact on the largest number of people possible. For example, uh, what about qualities then? So the first one that sprang to mind is humility. <laughs> so what do I mean by that? Well, really, there are lots of ways to describe it, of course, uh, but one of the ways for me is to have the courage to be disliked or the courage to be criticized, trolled, mocked, scorned, and so on, whether that be in real life or on social media, which can be very harsh. And so finally, what about skills? I personally feel that the most important skill for me, anyway, is to communicate why I do what I do effectively. Many of you will have seen the Simon Sinek video, he talks about it in his TED talk, The Golden Circle. Uh, people who buy our products and services do so because they believe what we believe. And it's my business, in my business, it's about empowering people through the benefits of results-driven products, financial freedom, and an uplifting culture. So there we have it today. Uh, have you ever thought about your own leadership? Uh, let me know how you would define leadership. I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks.